What is up, YouTube? I'm going over here. We're going to be talking about week one. And that's right, week one regionals coming out. Are you going to be that guy that's going to be maining Nibiru and Dark Roller no more? Or are you going to just passively let the metagame take you by storm and then main deck them two weeks from now? So this is going to be the impact of Dark Roller no more and Nibiru on really the current format, at least in terms of expectations and things that we're expecting. So let's dig on into this discussion, shall we? Now for those of you that might be living underneath a rock, uh, literally the rest of the world and a few other people over the next 48 hours will be acquiring all of their Dark Ruler, No Mores, and Nibiru's. Well, there's been a couple of questions across the community that I've been wanting to kind of answer for everybody, and it is, are you going to be main decking those fantastic cards, or are you going to passively let the tide drive by? So, first one I want to talk about here is Dark Ruler No More, and the impact that this card is going to have on the game. So you have this spell card that says, negate all monster effects on your opponent's side of the field and your opponent can't activate a monster effect in response to the activation of this card. Now besides Uncle Solemn Judgment sitting in the corner over here, that's just giving you the don't mess up again eyes. Or <laughs> you've, you've just, you've got this card that blinks your opponent's entire field. And that's great, all right? It stops Thunder Dragon Colossus, stops Titan, stops Triff 16 negate boards that he's putting on the field, stops Appaloosa, stops Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, it literally stops, oh man, it, everything that you could actually produce in the form of a negate besides, actually it stops everything. But are we going to be main decking these or is this going to be a side deck card? So I've had a couple of discussions with people like the claw over here mm -hmm. and uh, we've talked about in Sky Strikers, is it worth it to main three copies of this spell card? You have this counts as a normal spell in the Grigor, by the way, which counts towards your Sky Striker requirements, and it blinks the field. So, if I'm going second, wouldn't that be a card that I'd want to play in Sky Striker? And then, you got to also ask the question of, well, is three too much? Am I playing this card just to be playing it as an immediate blink to the field? And what happens if I dead draw it as the game progresses? With the way that Sky Striker's kind of presented itself in the format right now, and seeing that Pure Thunder is kind of resurged a little bit, not a lot, I'm starting to kind of think that this might be something that we would want to consider as Sky Striker players in the main deck. I don't know. Are, are you going to try it, Austin? I'm going to try it. Are you going to main it or side it? Uh, I'm going to main it and then just uh, build the going and just go second. Just blind go second every time. Going second Sky Striker. Well, I mean, you've got Evenly Mash now and going second Striker. Um, you've got... Well, we're not cheeky and Striker uh, Tops also has been seen at twos. Yeah, and depending uh, on the going second build yeah. you're playing. Outside of that, I mean You're already maining Ash, so Yeah, you're you are packing in hand traps. You're doing the one of Ghost Bell now like every other person in the I curve. tried it, it don't work at my I don't, I don't, it don't work at my locals. I don't like the one of Ghost Bell. Ghost Ogre and Effect Veil are really good right now. I think just... Ghost Ogre is probably by far the best at the moment. <sighs> Effect Veil is really good. I mean, I like don't us, don't underestimate a one of Valor on the clutch when you need it. I like I'm just saying. Ghost Ogre in the I'm, I'm going to like what Dark Ruler No More does when I watch my opponent play with their STD for a couple of minutes and then you just Dark Ruler them No More and you proceed to play the game. Like, Do we, do we mean Nibiru as the question? We'll, we'll get to Nibiru here in a minute because <laughs> I've already read a couple of disgusting posts about Nibiru and things like that. So, yes, everybody. To answer the question, I do think that Sky Striker is probably going to play Dark Ruler no more, presented at least in a two of in the main deck. Um, I don't know. I, three seems like too much in the main. Like I don't want to. I don't want to bulk down the deck too much. You know what I mean? Like we've already got enough dead cards in the deck. I'm already playing Called by the Grave. Yeah. <laughs> Like, actually, I, I like the one called by the grave. Like, maybe we could play one Dark Ruler no more. We see it, we sack it, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> kind of like the sphere mode. Like, if I side the sphere mode, I, I see it, you know? And if not, well, <laughs> what do you do, right? Well, I just like to uh, 
we're just gonna wing dragon a roll, and then we're gonna whittle we're, we're back to our board, no, and we're gonna stop, summon stop, wing dragon. Stop, stop, stop! That's so bad. That's what I'm doing. That's so bad. One copy of wing dragon. We're gonna okay. We're we're gonna play the one dark ruler no more as yeah, the yeah, sack yeah. factor. Sack factor. And the do we cut the call by the grave or do we still play it? I think one is good. One called by the grave, one dark ruler no more in the sky strike here. Yeah, just sack the That sounds sack your so bad. Well, that's that's how we play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. We see the one of, we see the one of. That's that's how life be some days. Yeah, now like, that you cry. Now, on the flip side of this discussion, I have read some really, really disappointing things about Nibiru. And when I say really disappointing things on Nibiru, the amount of scumbaggery I'm already reading in the pregame for this card is nuts. So, for those of you that know, Nibiru, after your opponent has done their fifth summon for the turn, you basically go, haha, watch me go. You summon it to your field, you give your you tribute everything on your opponent's field, and then you give them this token. Now, players are already talking about wanting to play as a thought again because, well, you can't as a you can't you know, kill my board if I've as a thought you because you can't activate Nibiru in the hand. So that's the first good thing. But how consistent are combo decks going to be able to make as a thought and then go down the entire combo? Like, I know Luna Lights can do it because, well, you know, they're Luna Lights and they are, they already do crazy combo shenanigans. But outside of that, I I think in terms of just general combo ability and things like that. Um, there's a lot of things to kind of present itself in the future, so <clears throat> we'll have to kind of wait and see where that part is going. Now, in terms of main decking Nibiru's, uh, stun decks a uh, ho actually. Uh, we'll be playing triple copies of this thing um, because going second and stun has never had any. Austin, being a stun player, going second is like death, right? Yeah, I want to cry every time it happens. You literally lose the game because, well, you can't stick an inspector border because your opponent's already got an established field. So you already lose. Uh, Thunder Kings are worthless. Um, and if you're trying to set a fossil dyna going second, well, you know... You better have hella backup. I mean, I guess you can main deck the triple Dark Ruler no more and rely on that to break the board because, honestly, I think you can do it that way, right? Like, Dark Ruler no more seems like the better card in the stun deck. But with Nibiru, getting that negate established is really good. I also think players are now going to the, the point of where they'll make the Appaloosa to have the negate loaded on the top. That way, um, if you try to Nibiru them, you just have the negate to stop it. Um, which, I don't know. As a thought, an Appaloosa for the negates are where we're really looking. Now, in terms of the mind game aspect, and th these are the things that I've read online that I absolutely love. So, it's not against tournament policy to count the amount of summons that your opponent is doing. It is, however, against the policy to tell your opponent, I have a Nibiru, as you're counting the summons to make the misplay. That is against tournament policy. But you are allowed, within the guidelines, to count the summons that your opponent has started doing on their turn, so that you know at which point you can Nibiru. Please don't be that guy that will ruin this for the rest of us, that we are asking our opponent how many times that they've summoned for the turn for the hypothetical Nibiru that we didn't open with. So I guess the threat of Nibiru is better than nothing, but don't be that guy that says, yeah, I have Nibiru, and then you don't have Nibiru, and then you get a game loss because you lied to your opponent about something that you had. Is it lying if I say, okay, so that's one summon? No. That, so we that's, can do that. That's fine. That is within... As long as you are doing it within the flow of the game and you are not presenting misinformation, you are allowed to count how many summons have progressed through the game because that is common knowledge within the realms of the game. Mm -hmm. You know? And I, I assume nobody's going to fall for that, but this is what I've read online. People are being like, okay, we're going to skip... It shouldn't be that hard to count to five unless... You can't count to five for some reason, but you shouldn't be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! then if you can't count. That's why we love calculators, right, when playing the game? <laughs> so, Yu-Gi-Oh! community doing what it does best. Scumbag Ria Ho 101. Absolutely misrepresenting game states. I hate this game some days. It's not even misrepresenting game states. It's just one, two, three, four, five. Ah, 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 Nibiru. <laughs> 
So I do think that both of these cards are going to see, at least week one, are going to see a lot of main deck places. We've got to let the metagame naturally shift a little bit as we continue to snowball this as these build-a-board decks hopefully will calm down. They really need to stop seeing play. And like these huge combo decks are the reason why these cards were made. And seeing that uh, the OCG is about to be lined up with us between Danger Monsters and having Dark Ruler No More and the other fantastic cards that they're just getting. Uh, it's going to be interesting to watch these cards get limited to one. I actually can't wait. So, guys, what do you think about the impact of Nibiru and Dark Ruler No More in the format? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Well, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.